Hi everyone. Right, I've got to uh, make some flowers. So, I like to film while I'm doing it so that you can see what I'm up to. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's 24 scallops. I'm going to make a couple of these. Well, you might as well watch what I'm doing anyway, mightn't you? Might be sat there bored. Thinking, oh, I wish Fee had a video to share. <laughs> well, I have. Well, I might make more than that. Don't know yet. Right. I don't know what that's out for. Now, long needle. And I need some cotton. Uh, I'm going to use some of that for a change. Which is a... Like a very thin cord. And I don't need to double it then. So let's get going with this. Oh. Here now. Yeah, I don't I don't need to uh It might not even work. Right. There is a right and a wrong side. We do sell this in the shop. There's a right and a wrong side to it. The shinier side goes to the top, the uh, front. So Just a tacking stitch and then I go in each, in and out of each scallop. That's all you need to do with this fabric, this lace. Um, that's the one where you sew six stitches, turn it over, sew across the bent set, you know, the uh, folded section, then turn it over again and do six stitches. So, um, and I'm just using, I'm actually using up some cord. It's a thin cord that I was using earlier on. So I'm just going to do a running stitch right across the top. Uh, make a flower from this one. And I've done one with some... Um, they're not pearls, they're these. Let me just show you those on a stem, just to use them up basically. This was just a single pearl. And I think I'll just put a, dim a diamante in this one. Because and we, we don't spare, um, or go sparingly on anything. As you can see, I'm putting quite a lot of lace into them. I always like to see a good ruffle and if you don't know what that means, for some don't know, um, this is the ruffle. So yes, it's uh, always make a full bodied flower. They look more realistic and, you know, we see them all over the place now. So, uh, and I'm pleased as punch because we see hundreds. Before I came on YouTube, um, I've said this before, but this is for the newbies. Before I came on uh, YouTube, before I started filming myself, um, the reason why I started was because I saw so many people doing flowers that didn't actually ruffle them and properly um, or enough. And a lot of the flowers I saw puckered. Uh, and I have to be honest, there were very, very few people were doing a proper flower uh, as I would, as I was taught to do it. Let's just say that my mother taught me well how to make flowers. And um, yeah, so I thought, do you know what? <laughs> I've got to help and share my knowledge of how I was taught. And so I started to do videos.
and we have uh, we've got to have over we had about, well last this time last year we had about 480 different flowers either made from fabric lace um paper card you name it we've got them on the channel and look how flat they lay but they've got that ruffle and anyway so um now i think we've about 500 maybe more different flowers each one different
I make many one-offs. There we go. I'm now going to add some glue. This is a five petal one. Like that. And then I'm adding a four petal in as well. Let's turn that around to go there. Beautiful profile on these when they're done. Uh, I'm also going to get a pearl. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Just a pearl. And we pop that in the centre. And push down uh, and what that does is it brings this up brings a ruffle up look what a profile that has beautiful flowers put the back on it I mean I have made this one before and there you go um, oh I didn't put I was gonna put a different center in wasn't I never mind we'll do it like that Again, this flower, where you stitch along, six stitches, fold it over, three across the top of the fold, uh, then six stitches, fold over. There, uh, that's the same one as that one. They're just done with a different fabric. And uh, there you go.